Hi. Hi everybody. Uh, I have another three month old coming in. Uh, so I thought I'd do something different than what I normally do. I am going to do the same thing, but I'm just going to show you how to do it with minimal equipment. I'm actually going to shoot this with, uh, I think, my Vivitar uh, flashes and uh, maybe just a normal reflector. We threw out the foam core, right? Yeah. Uh, say hi, John. John's the one holding the camera. Hi, John. Uh, okay, so first thing I'm going to do is a high key, and I'm just using this is just a uh, this is a simple uh, drop cloth, painter's drop cloth that we got at uh, I don't know fabric, no, I don't know paint store, right? So we're just going to use that. That way, if they pee on it or anything, it doesn't matter. I think it only costs us twelve bucks, something like that, right, John? Not bad. You'll have to agree with me, John. Yeah, yeah. Since it did come out of your pocket. Too. They had some of stains for eight dollars, but we passed on them. All right, that's all I need there. I'm not worried about wrinkles or anything because I'm actually just going to blow out, uh, blow out the back, and then trusty beanbag chair, which I think I'm actually going to go purchase a new one soon, because it's, it's starting to lose its uh, firmness. It, uh, <laughs> that happens you know, to a lot of no things. Like this, so, uh, again, this is I'm just going to throw underneath it. If you don't already have a beanbag chair for your, uh, you know, your babies and stuff like that, I suggest you get one because it's great because the baby can just sit in there, like I said before, and you don't have to worry about the baby rolling over and smashing its head and you know, lawsuit and all that, all that jazz, so. And, I think I'm gonna throw some tooling. What do we have here? Hey! <laughs> <laughs> and now, good enough. Oh, this brings back memories from image exploration. <laughs> okay, that's pretty well it for uh, that's pretty well it for our setup. Now for lighting. Lighting, I am going to use a Vivitar flash. Just a simple Vivitar flash. I'm going to trigger that with a little Wayne peanut slave. And for Vivitar 285s, it just smacks right into the PC outlet. That I'm going to actually mount. So, okay. Okay, so I'm going to use one of these Raleigh boxes. Can't remember where we bought this from. Don't ask me how the stain got on up there. It's a little bit dirty. And what I have here one of these handy little things. And this just fits right onto your light stand. And it's got a hole. Just stick your umbrella or softbox or whatever you have on it. And then the bracket here, spin that close away, sorry. The bracket here, your flash just fits on there. Like that. And just loosen this up. I never tried this before, so I'm hoping it works. Right? There we go. That's all I need. I just needed to pop in there. That's all. There I have it. That's going to be my main line. Now I'm going to have the baby's head positioned here, facing that way, and I'm going to bring my main light at a 45 degree behind the subject. Reason being is, I want the front of the face, or the face that's facing the camera, I want the camera to see the shadow. Uh, I'll add a little bit more three dimensional, a little bit of depth to the image. And uh, we'll get a nice big catch light. Now I'm going to bring in a reflector right about here to bounce, have this light bounce off it just to fill in the shadow just a bit. Uh, reflector where? Well normally we had a big piece of foam core which was what I was kind of hoping to use. Just to keep it cheap, but uh, I think we threw those out, eh? Yeah. Well, you know we paid good money for this. We'll just use this. Basically, we had a piece of white foam core that was pretty well the same size as this, 
And normally we just prop it up against the stand right about there. Now, I can usually hook a sync cord up to the Vivitar flash directly to the camera to trigger it. But since I've got the Wayne peanut slave in there, all I'm going to do is just, I'm just going to use my 550 flash on my camera. I'm just going to set it to a really low setting, basically bouncing it backwards, just so that this peanut slave will pick it up and trigger that flash. Now, if I zoom out, and I do get some of that background in, I'm going to light the background with one of these. And this is yours, John. Okay, one of those little Morris uh, AC slaves. We're just going to plug that in. AC slave super 120 volts is that it's got a built-in slave. So as soon as that triggers off, it'll trigger this off. So we're just going to put that there, and that'll pretty well light up our background. Now, let's just do a meter reading. Let's see what we're getting off our Vivitar here. I'm going to turn the AC slave off. And I'm shooting at about 100 ISO, 125th of a second. And I have this on one quarter power. Now the only downside about using you know the Victor flashes is you know, recycle time. I'm not too worried about that. Let's just see. What are we getting there? Five, six and a half? Yeah, about that. Yeah, that's pretty good. Let's put a half power, should give us about F8, right? Actually, you know what? I might even just shoot it five, six. I'm not too worried about that. Let's just see here. Five, okay. six and three quarters. I'm going to keep it down to a quarter. And I'm going to shoot at five, six. I mean, I can always bring this in closer and bring this in back to, there we go, 5.6. All right, now let's see what we're getting on our background. The core slave. I'm getting F11. Ooh. So that's, uh, you know, that's almost two stops. I, I don't mind. Let's just blow it up, blowing it up. That's exactly what I want. I'm not too worried about that. So I'm going to be shooting at 125th, 5.6. And that's it. That's, uh, that's pretty well my lighting setup. Just one Vivitar flash in a, in a brawly box, soft box, and, uh, and a reflector. I mean, basically, you can get this whole setup for under 150 bucks. Of course, I'm only charging her 149, so really, I'm only making a dollar off this. <laughs> Okay, now we just need a baby. That's it. Well, I'm going to have to turn the camera off for that. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Good to you. Actually, I'm going to take one right now. He's got that.